Okay, good morning everybody. My name is Tonya Rodriguez. Now who here loves food? I know I do too. Um, so, but do you guys finish your food most of the time? Yes. Oh yeah? yeah. Okay, well, most of the time, but not all the time. So here I'm to persuade you all to stop food loss and waste reduction. While some foods are being wasted and thrown away where it's getting sent to landfills when it could help others in need. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, food waste is estimated at between 30 to 40 percent of food supply. Consumer levels corresponded to approximately 133 billion pounds and 161 billion dollars worth of food waste in the year 2010. This amount went far reaching that it impacted climate change that in the year 2015, the first ever national food loss and waste goal in the U.S. was launched, calling for a 50 percent reduction by tw the year 2030. America has more than enough food to feed everyone, but we tend to waste it. Here are some statistics based off of feedingamerica.org. Food wasted from home is about 43%, which is about $54 billion worth of food waste. Such markets and grocery stores is a waste of 40%, which is $50 billion worth of food. Farms and full-service restaurants take about 16%, which is $20 billion worth of food. And such as the government and manufacturers is about 2% of wasted food, which is $1 to $2 million. So now think about the different nutrients that go into your food and how they go to waste. A study from Food Forward, they argue that the nutrition that's been lost could have ensured that all women in America who are pregnant to get vitamin A, vitamin E, calcium, magnesium, iron, and fiber during these conditions. So food waste isn't just big and heavy. It's expensive too, based on nutrients as well. According to the USA Today states, we're hemorrhaging our food supply as communities suffer without enough to get through a day or access to fresh fruits and vegetables. Activist and author Jonathan Bloom estimated based on volume that the USA could fill a college stadium with the amount of food it wastes in a day. Imagine trying to fit 365 Rose Bowls into Pasadena or any amount of people in a stadium to hold a year's worth of American food waste. So long story short, um, once I bought two cases of chicken from a fundraiser at church, and as I was driving home, I saw a lady who was holding up a sign who, and along with her daughter saying that they were starving. So I decided to pull, pull over, give her one of my cases of chicken, and she really did appreciate it very much. She even almost started to cry. And it made me think like, wow, we're wasting a lot of food or for those who don't even finish their food. Like, think about those other people that don't have anything and we're over here like complaining that we're just wasting our food. So I want to give you guys some ways you can take action to save our planet by not wasting food and throwing away goods so it doesn't cost us time, money, and affect our environment. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, reducing food waste will help the U.S. address climate change as to 20% of total US, meth U.S. methane emissions come from landfills. You yourself as individuals can learn how to reduce wasted food at home by making or sticking to a list of buying food that you and your family enjoys to eat, including to be eaten as leftovers. Because honestly, like whenever you guys have a party, do you guys love to eat the leftovers? Yeah, right? Okay, so another way is storing food correctly and not cramming too much in the fridge. Knowing your expiry labels because people guided by labels often throw away something that's perfectly edible. Also, you guys can join an organization like Feeding America who networks along with different organizations who have rescued 3.3 billion pounds of food. Luckily, that food went straight to feeding people facing hunger. They've even developed ways where they demand individual food banks to improve ways to get perfectly good food to children, seniors, and families who need it the most. So now, within conclusion, think about the percentage, 30 to 40 percent of food waste and the money you're spending to keep yourself alive. We should be thankful every day for the available resources we have because at least we're not suffering from starvation. 
If you didn't finish like a meal of rice, for example, that you bought here on campus, offer it to someone who might actually be hungry and are short on money. You guys actually never know. So don't wait till the year 2030 for the 50% of food waste reduction to go down. Take action now and stop food loss and waste reduction. Here's my recommendation.